said amen. amen. And I, uh, uh, if, if none of y'all don't want to shout, if, if you all don't want to shout, don't worry about it, I'll shout for you. <laughs>
never see Christ. And all of this business that we are about in our time, and what we are doing in churches and through churches and buying churches and all that kind of thing, it, if you never go to Calvary, You'll never see Christ. All right. All right. I, don't care, I don't care how long you've been doing it. I don't care how long you've been wearing the suit, wearing the tie. I don't care how much money you put in the receptacle. I don't care how many hallelujahs you said. I don't care how tightly you held on to the beads and said, Hail Mary. I, I, don't, I don't care how many times you kissed the priest's hand. I don't care how many you kiss the golden cross. I don't care. Come, cause first of all, Jesus is no longer on the cross. So that depiction of Christ hanging on a cross is wrong. He loved me. And he came for me. And he let me know that I am his. And so the world can't do me no harm. And I said, yeah, don't tell me what the world can do me. I can tell you. I can, I, can, I can tell you that the world cannot do me any harm because see, what? Watch this, watch this. Whatever the world can dish out, not only can I take it, but I'll overcome it. I, I was, I was, uh, mother came in the office came in the study this morning. I, I said, Mother, I said, how you feeling this morning? She said, ah. ah. But, but what she told me, she left me with a message. I'm preaching now, Mother. But, mother said, Mother said, ah. She said, but I can take it. God. 
But if you will enter into life, keep the commandments. He said to him, what which? Jesus said, you shall do, thou shalt do no murder, shall not commit adultery, shall not steal, shall not bear false witness, honor your father and your mother, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Young man said, all these things I've kept from my youth up. What lack I yet? Jesus said to him, if you'll be whole, if you'll be perfect, if you'll be full, go and sell that you have, give it to the poor, you'll have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. The young man heard that saying, he went his way sad, for he had great possession. Wow. Then Jesus said to them, a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. It's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. They said amen. amen. Uh, interesting, I think. I, I will have you to highlight that Jesus is, at this particular time, he is he's making his last trip from Galilee to Jerusalem. And he has gone through many instances of running into adversity, with the issues with the religious leaders of the day, in particular the you know, Judaism and the like. And he has, uh, shortly before this particular thing, he has shared with them with regard to how God feels about marriage and divorce. Um, he has shared with them about how that there are some that, that choose to serve God without marriage. They devote themselves completely to the service of the kingdom of God. So they don't, they don't, they don't give it up. And he gives them the example of what it is to be a unit, as it were, someone that is, is abstaining from sexual relations and marriage, and they are, they are in the service of God. And he comes to this point where this rich young fellow comes along, and uh, if, if you go over and care to at some point, you go over and read Mark's account, Mark says that the young man, and, and Matthew leaves this out, but uh, Mark says that the young man, uh, as Jesus was walking along the way, and every place that Jesus went, a crowd of folk went with him. Right. Jesus was popular. Feeding folk, not charging them anything. Fresh, hot biscuits. From God's oven, and fresh baked fish. Ooh, child. And so, folks said, We're going to follow him. Keep up with him and see what's up next. And the Bible says, Mark says that the rich young ruler heard that Jesus was walking down the street. So, Mark says that he ran. And now, what's peculiar about that is, and, and I believe the why Mark mentions it is because, see, you know, dignified folk, back in those days, they're all prim and proper. They don't run away. Because whatever business they have to take care of, they just, it'll get done when I get there. We don't run in public, you know. Especially if you are a, a, a leader in the synagogue. You know. Uh, but when he heard that Jesus was walking down the street, he ran, and no doubt he had an entourage with him, but he left his entourage and he went to catch up with Jesus.
Jesus for himself. And he made his way through the crowd. Mm -hmm. So, the matter that he wanted to see Jesus about had to be very important for him to break ranks like that. Right. For him to break tradition like that. Right. And, and it's evident from the text, and sometimes we kind of read over the thing. We read over what's there. When he gets to Jesus, the first thing he says is, Good master, now. Now, if you read, if you read Mark's account, Mark says, not only does he get there and he calls Jesus something that only ought to be addressed or, or yes. named as of God. Right. See, he called Jesus good master. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and Jesus said, well, wait a minute. Why are you calling me good? Right. Right. For there is none that should get that kind of address right. but God. That's how I tell tell folks. See, see, see folks that you know, Reverend, Reverend, Reverend. Now see now, I ain't no Reverend. God is to be reverent. Yes. Yes. And even when you find a word that's translated Reverend, it is speaking not about any man. It's talking about God. gets to Jesus and Mark says that he kneels at Jesus' feet. Now, not only does he break tradition, break ranks running, but he gets to Jesus and then he kneels down before him like Jesus is somebody and look at this. It does not make him any difference that everybody that's around Jesus sees him doing it. And see now, some of you that have made the name of Christ, you don't want nobody to know it except us. Because there are certain places that you go, you got to keep appearances up. You still a I'm still a dog. <laughs> you know, I'm still, I'm still one of the fellas. Come on. But when you're with the saints, mm -hmm. praise the Lord, hallelujah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, Amen. Oh, thank you. But, but you know, when you hit the corner, you, you hit the block, you hit the cards. <laughs> you got to you got to have a little swagger about yourself so that the fellas still know that you still are one of them. You don't want them to start looking at you funny. Yeah, you want them to know you still down. And, and notice, notice how we use the terminology. I'm down. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> and, and without Christ, you're going to stay down. And, and, and without Christ, you're going to get lower than what you know. <laughs> and and, and if somebody will use something, they how low can you go? <laughs> well, watch this here. If, if you've been low and, and you don't have Christ in your life, you ain't seen nothing yet. Man kneels before Christ and says, Good master, what must I do to inherit eternal, to have eternal life? Well, now, what I want you to notice here that Jesus is not dead. That the, the issue of, the essence of, the fact of eternal life was not something new to the Jews. Do y'all hear me? For the young man, he knew about eternal life. And now, guess what his trouble was? From the text, it appears that after Jesus tells him, do you want to be whole? Do you want to be perfect? Don't steal. Don't kill. Don't bear false witness. Love your father.
father and your mother love your neighbor as yourself. And then he says, all of these I've kept from my youth. But now, look at this one. Watch this. He knew that though he was a strict observer of the law, mm -hmm. there was something in him that was not there. Mm -hmm. He, and now, out of all of the rabbis, out of all of the folk that have been, that have come across his life, out of all of the folk, he never ran to anybody but Jesus. All of the great teachers, all of the great theologians of his time, of his day, he's right there where the temple is. All of the great heavyweights of theology of his day, but none of them could cause him to run and kneel at their feet but one that was born yeah, yes. in a manger. Yes. Right. Kept all that. He said, but I know something's missing. Mm. Right. Right. And no matter what you do, no matter how good you think you are, no matter how much, and there are yet some of us still think our presence on the pew, our money in the receptacle, you think that that's your security about getting in. But watch this here. If, if you, watch this, if you are still, watch this, working to get in. Oh. <laughs> right, sir. Mm -hmm. well, I'm doing all I can just to make it in. Well, now, the, the fact that you would make a statement like that says that you ain't in. Transitional uh, apartments, uh, transitional housing. 
the apartment center. And so I, I had to visit the, the families that were there. And I, I used to go in and, and uh, you know, let them know I'm there to do an inspection. And as, I, as I'm walking there to, to, to hear mothers and, and fathers call their daughters bees. I, I don't want to insult you, but, but you, you little son, did I tell you to get off the couch? You little son, did I, you better get your son so, and then you wonder why they come up like they do. And you want to, you want to, and see, and see, some of us, some of us, you know, some of us thugs, you understand? We, we ain't gonna take that. <laughs> I brought you in and well. You gonna talk to me like that? <laughs> when you talk to him when he was like that? Uh-oh, uh-oh. 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 You know how Of course. He's gonna talk to you like that. Cause that's what you taught him. That's what you taught her. That's what you allow the other teachers on the corner to teach them. Mm-hmm. A man knew something was missing in his life. And your children, they don't, and, and, and it's just like, it's just like, you know, talking to young folk. Uh, and, and, and just so you know, I am, I am overjoyed. Now the young people that's in this assembly, you should see how they paying attention now. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. And this is the order of the day. You, you see, if you just take a little of this truth mm-hmm. and chew on it, you know, if, if you just chew on it a while, like you, like you chew on Jay-Z. I said, give Christ an equal chew. Yeah. That's all, that's, that's all he needs. And, uh, and what you'll find is, is that with all of your talent, with all of your gifts, you'll find that something is missing. Gifted, gifted young folk, great minds. But it is no different than anything in this life. As you survey, uh, as, as as you look at as you look at these entertainers and these uh, uh, and the people that have a spotlight before you, they have platforms before you, and you look at all that they are, all of their capacity. They have we have great orators. They they can just talk and all. <laughs> you know, he, you know, he just not nah, nah, he can be the greatest devil mm. on the planet. And just so you know, the devil is an excellent communicator. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's how come so, so many of y'all do this stuff. Mm. <laughs> He's an expert communicator. So, so now, see, when, when you're standing on the corner, you understand, and, and you got your brewski, uh, and, and you got your JB, yeah, you understand, uh, 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 whatever your, what, what, uh, are you, 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 you sucking on your hip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what they call it. Or whatever your, whatever your chain might be. Christ has come to set the captive free. But the greatest slave. The 
17th century had a fellow by the name of Willie Lynch. Mm -hmm. Willie Lynch was a West Indies slave owner. <coughs> and the southern slave owners in America, in, in America heard about how well he could get them darkies. Mm -mm. How, how, you, how you get them to mm -hmm. do what you say like that? Mm -hmm. So they sent for Mr. Lynch. Mm -hmm. Mr. Lynch came, got on the ship and came over here. This is what he said. Mm. He said, oh, I'm going to tell you what I did. I took them light-skinned niggas. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and I brought them up to the house. Well, you got a well for that. Them, them, the one that was mm -hmm. showing up dog. Well, I kept them out in the fields. <laughs> and then when, when the ones that was out in the fields was coming in, I, I stood up beside the, the yellow one and I just rubbed on them. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Lord, Lord, Lord. <laughs> And so, sorry, and so what he did is he caused the dark ones to hate. That's right. The light and he caused the call the dark ones to hate the chocolate. Yeah. He called, he caused them to hate one another. So that they began to love their nasty. Yeah. And you, mm. in your sin, your master is teaching you to hate yourself. Mm. Yes. Mm. That's right. And, and you, you can blame all the folk that you want for the woes of our community. Uh, them people, them what, what them folk them did, and those folk them did, and I, and when you look at the ones that's, that's shooting you and stabbing you and stealing your stuff and 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 burning down your stuff and taking this and uh, destroying that, they all look like you. You got a lock on yourself. 
You're in bondage. With all of your external freedoms. You're in bondage. And see now, don't get me wrong. Some slaves like it. Some slaves, they call them uh, and, and, and uh, but more, he don't want me to walk over here too close. Well, no, he ain't. Well, you know, but, but see, some slaves, no, I, 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 I'm, I'm just talking to him mm -mm. while I'm talking to everybody. I'm, I'm just looking at you. Some slaves were turning their brother in. Mm -hmm. That's trying to get free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> no man, no man. You go, you go to. Uh, we, we got this young brother going to college, and uh, you, you go down there walking and talking to Jesus, and, and what you gonna find is you are gonna find some folk that don't want you to be free, man. Yeah. And and they and they and they gonna they gonna sit now. Are, are you sure you free, dog? <laughs> Wow. Let me offer you a piece of this chain. Say no, say no. Every instance of you turning away from Christ, every instance of you turning down the truth of God's word, of God's instruction, it is an offer from the adversary of another piece of chain. I hear some chains too. But they ain't falling. They riding. He said, sell your stuff. And I'll cut the lock off. Jesus said, you sell your stuff. Give it to the poor. I got the bolt cutters right here. Sell your stuff. And he opened the bolt cutters up. He said, sell your stuff. Open them up a little wide. Sell your stuff. Young man, give me my chain. <laughs> saying to you, I'm telling you the truth. It's, and, 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 and the awesome thing is, it all came from black text. Yes. <laughs> That's God's word. Yes. Don't walk away. God, both of our eyes are closed and, and, and we go. 
And when we open our eyes, both of us find we don't have to pray no more. Oh, mm. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. I, I want to see all y'all. Christ died yeah. to see all of y'all. Yeah. Not one is it. Yeah. He says that he, he's not willing that any should perish, but that all should come yeah. Yeah. to the knowledge of the truth yeah. of the Son. Yes. Don't, don't refuse him to be. What you find is, it's like me. See, I, I can take it. See, I'm, I'm a man, man. Ain't no, ain't no punk, ain't no sister. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. I, I will whoop your behind. Uh, yes, ma'am, and yes, sir. If, if that's what it takes. I said it to see. Don't think because I'm a saint mm -hmm. that I'm lesser than you. <laughs> don't think that I lost any any capacity that I had when I was on the corner. I still got it. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yeah. Still know what to do. Yeah. But I got a different mindset as, as to how to use it and when to use it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm standing here with some bulk We extend our hand of fellowship.